Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear kid church, happy birthday to you. Now, you might be thinking, but it's not my birthday. Or you might be thinking, I'm Arvin, it's almost my birthday, but not quite. I'm not saying happy birthday to you, I'm saying happy birthday to the church. Today is Pentecost Sunday. And it's a day that we remember the church starting. So I'm going to read you a story from my from my favourite Bible. OK, and then we might talk a little bit about it. OK, so here's all the disciples. When the Feast of Pentecost came, the disciples were all together in one place. Without warning, there was a sound like a strong wind. No one could tell where it came from. It filled the whole building. Then like wildfire, the Holy Spirit spread through the people and they started speaking in a number of different languages as the Holy Spirit prompted them. Can you see the crowds of people? There were many Jews staying in Jerusalem just then, devout pilgrims from all over the world. When they heard the sound, they came on the run. Then when they heard, one after another, their own mother tongues being spoken. They were amazed. They couldn't for the life of them figure out what was going on. They kept saying, aren't these all people from Galilee? How come we're hearing them talk in our various mother tongues? They're speaking our languages, describing God's mighty works. What's going on here? And that's when Peter, you see Peter here. Peter stood up and backed by the other eleven, he spoke out with bold urgency. Fellow Jews, all of you who are visiting Jerusalem, listen carefully and get this story straight. This is what the prophet Joel announced would happen. In the last days, God says, I'll pour out my spirit on those who serve me, men and women both, and they will prophesy. So prophesy means to speak out God's words. And so Peter went on, he said, fellow Israelites, listen carefully to these words. Jesus the Nazarene, a man sent by God to you, was betrayed by men who took the law into their own hands and was handed over to you. You pinned him to a cross and killed him. But God untied the death ropes and raised him up. Death was no match for him. This Jesus God raised up and every one of us here is a witness to it. Then receiving the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father, he poured out the Holy Spirit he had just received. That is what you see and hear. All Israel then, know this. There's no longer room for doubt. God made him master and messiah. This Jesus whom you killed on a cross. Brothers, there were those there who were listening, asked Peter and the apostles, Brothers, so what now can we do? Peter said, change your life. Turn to God and be baptised, each of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins are forgiven. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And 3,000 people believed and were baptised and started following Jesus, along with Peter and the other disciples. And that's the day that the church celebrates its birthday that's when the holy spirit came and the disciples who'd all been quite scared and hide, hidden away they went out and they spoke to everyone and miraculously they were speaking languages they didn't know they were speaking in arabic and um well aramaic was their language and greek and uh i don't know what the other languages were at the time my head's gone blank latin and um Gujarati, they were speaking all these different languages that they had never learned and could never speak because the Holy Spirit was trying to communicate with people what God had done. Now, that Bible talked about a rushing wind. Some of the other Bibles, they talk about a wind, but also a fire. They talk about it looking like fire coming down and then resting on the head of each disciple and we often use these words wind and fire to describe the holy spirit because we can't see the holy spirit but we can feel it we can feel him the holy spirit comes into our hearts 
and and moves us and changes us and turned Peter from a scared fisherman into someone who could go and preach and tell everyone about Jesus and be really, really brave. So today we celebrate the birthday of the church. To blow the candle out with me, I'll count to three, okay? One, two, three. Thank you. And so that Holy Spirit that filled Peter, James, John, Thaddeus, Bartholomew and the others is in us too. And so I'm going to pray again for God to fill you with his Holy Spirit, that you'd be brave and kind, just like Peter and the others on Pentecost. So get how you'd like to, to pray. And we'll do a big amen at the end. Father God, thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit. Thank you that it's your Holy Spirit that enabled the disciples to be brave and to leave uh, their little room and to tell everyone about Jesus. Thank you that it's that same Holy Spirit that is with us today. So we ask that you would again fill us with your fire, your powerful wind, your spirit, that we might be brave and kind for you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching Kids Church. Uh, I will see you on Tuesday. God bless.